Drake finally did it. He decided to jump on the BBL Drizzy beat that Metro Boomin made, dissing him, and he made it a free beat to where a lot of people could jump on the song and record their versions of the tracks. And guess who finally did this? Recorded a verse on the BBL Drizzy beat on Sexy Red's latest album called In Sexy We Trust. And, oof. I'll say this, the hook that Sexy Red does on that song is crazy because her vocals are cracking. I say, oh, baby. Ooh, oh, baby. Like the flow of the song is just wild, bro. Like how, who, who allowed her to record that hook and hit that first note when she's just like, I don't even know how to explain it. In my opinion, I think Drake is trying to make light of the whole situation of the rap beef and all of that good stuff. So he's finding a way to flip the, the narrative on himself where everybody was saying that he got the BBL and got his abs done. But instead now he's trying to act like he pays for the women to get their BBLs done and to make themselves look better and all of that good stuff. It's a, it's a catchy way to play on it. And of course, Drake would do this because Drake is Drake and he can't let anything go. He has to respond in some type of way, shape or form. But overall, it just, it felt like a song we didn't need. I love Drake. I love his music. I bump a lot of his songs, as I've told you guys in the past. But like the hook that Sexy Red delivered on this, like what, what are we getting here? At this point, this is a parody song. <laughs> Did I do that? Well, it's not even like a diss song, but like I said, Drake is very calculated and very smart because he's trying to make light of the situation, knowing that so many people are saying that he lost this rap beef in this battle. And now he's like, okay, how can I clean this up to where I can start dropping my summer jams like normal without people, you know, going all crazy. But People on Twitter were actually the ones that suggested that he use the BBL Drizzy beat and rap on it. It seems like a lot of the things that were written on Twitter in the past during this beef, Drizzy kind of took note of it and he might have, you know, used some of that stuff as ammunition to make his responses or create his songs like the Heart Part 6. Um, you know, multiple other examples are there to where he chose to take ideas that Twitter gave him and make them a reality. So now, Take He made this beat on Sexy Reds and Sexy We Trust, and the song is called You My Everything. And now, he starts off with the Take He beat as the original song, but then as he gets into its verse further, you'll see it switches into the BBL Drizzy beat, and he continues to rap about the different things that he does for women. Why you love me still a mystery? Me and the surgeon got history. I changed a lot of girls' lives for real. They need a new body, they hitting me. Drake raps in the verse saying that maybe we'll go to St. Lucia if these niggas take a break and stop starting with me. Maybe we go to St. Lucia. I've been there so I'll introduce you. Or maybe you go to St. Martin with me if these niggas take a break and quit starting with me. At this point, it's like, okay, why are you asking them to stop starting with you? when you and J. Cole started this thing. You guys got on first person shooter first. So it wasn't that they were starting with you. Some people did jump in the mix and they did add their own start and get this whole thing riled up. But like, come on, the way you're, you're saying these things, you're mentioning them like, you know, you weren't saying that you were ready for a battle and now you're like, all right, stop so I can go on vacation with my girls. And yeah, I'll be paying for the BBLs and getting the girls all fixed up and making sure they look good. Like, what kind of look is this? I know, I know it's parody. I know it has to be parody because nothing else explains why this man would drop this record and have Sexy Red putting those beautiful vocals in the beginning of the song. And then he comes in with the BBL Drizzy beat. What do you guys think of this? Do you feel like this song was something that you wanted to hear or that they're playing around or what are your thoughts? I would love to know. Let me know in the comments below. Ladies, I have a question for you. Why do you like Sexy Red? I really, really want to know the answer to this because I don't see what's to like about her music. It's not, it doesn't suit me in one way, shape or form. And I like female rappers, but this one is not, it's, she's not for me at all. I don't see one song where I'm like, okay, this is for me. You guys tell me what it is about Sexy Red.
Because I don't see it. Okay, I'm done. I, I like the approach he took with this as far as flipping it to make it like, hey, I get the girls' bodies done. I don't have to go get mine done. But, you know, who knows what the real answer is? <laughs> All I can do is laugh. The sexy red vocals we absolutely did not need, man. I don't know why her engineer, her publicist, her team allowed her to put out those vocals in the beginning of that song. They were just atrocious. But thanks, Splashers, for watching. I had to get this out to you fast because it just happened hot off the press. Like, comment, subscribe. Check out my other videos from the past beefs and then also any other video that you may not have watched. I appreciate all the support. Thanks for watching.